The Legislative Authority held a meeting with government representatives to determine the reasons and justifications for the Bahrain Flour Mills Company's decision to raise the prices of flour and its products and the impact on Bahraini citizens and families, livestock owners and other food products in light of the keenness on achieving food security in Bahrain. The meeting was chaired by the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Lamsalam, the Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh, and the Minister of Parliament Affairs Ghanem Al Bu'ainin. The meeting was also attended by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications Muhammad Al Kabi, the Minister responsible before the Legislative Authority for Mumtalakat Holding Company, and the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Flour Mills Company Basim Sa'i. Al Salam affirmed that achieving food security is a priority in national and parliamentary work and that food sufficiency requires the highest levels of cooperation and coordination to achieve aspirations and goals. The Representatives Council followed up on the company's decision to raise flower prices and the impact on citizens and families. The parliamentary proposal calls for postponing the decision for three months for further study and to find solutions and alternatives without compromising citizens' gains and har or harming their interests. For their part, the Shura Council Chairman stated that the National Food Security Strategy 2020 to 2030 constitutes a comprehensive national plan to enhance investment in the animal and agricultural sector. He noted that the Bahrain Flour Mills Company must take into account that citizens are not affected by the decision to adjust its product prices. As Saleh hailed the keenness of the government and the company's board of directors on informing the legislative authority on the company's projects and plans to expand and fulfill the needs of the local market. The government delegation affirmed that Bahrain is keen on continuing to adopt plans and programs that enhance food security and provide support to the private sector to contribute to the sustainability of food security projects in line with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. The delegation stated that food security is a priority for the government as it is an important contributor to the national economy and the royal directives to develop a strategic project for national food production and the government's endeavors to implement the national strategy embody the kingdom's keenness on creating a strong food security infrastructure. It noted that citizens' interests and are a priority, adding that they will not be affected by any price adjustments in daily bread as the prices of controlled subsidized products will not be changed. The government delegation noted that the price adjustment is for uncontrolled subsidized flour products and it is necessary as a result of the global wheat price rise. The delegation affirmed that the company is fully committed to maintaining business sustainability and that the price adjustment is necessary for the company's long-term sustainability and ability to provide Bahrain's flour needs. The government delegation stated that the government will take into account the parliamentary proposal to postpone the implementation of the decision for three months based on the continuous cooperation between the two authorities. The delegation asserted the government's keenness on ensuring the stability of product prices and their availability locally and that relevant government institutions continue to monitor prices by intensifying campaigns to achieve consumer interests. The Kingdom of Bahrain is a leading model in the field of food security through its continuous efforts to ensure all its citizens have access to safe food and ensure the sustainability of food production and achieve sustainable development for all. More on this report. Food security continues to be among the government's work priorities as all concerned parties work together to achieve self-sufficiency in goods and food, overcome any obstacles, facilitate the lives of citizens and not add any financial burdens on families by increasing production and its sustainability. There is no doubt that the food sector is subject to changes, global events and the principle of supply and demand. Like any other commodity, food may be affected by an increase ranging from 10% to 30%. However, the Kingdom of Bahrain works tirelessly to not add any burdens on citizens. There are many food commodities that fall under the umbrella of government support and high-quality alternatives are available. The Royal Directives touch on all issues, especially those related to the food security system, and the Royal Concern for providing necessary and basic commodities, ensuring their smooth flow and arrival to consumers without difficulties, and developing future plans to deal with any exceptional circumstance, affirm that the growth and prosperity of Bahrain at various levels continues to enhance investment in this important system in the coming period. 
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lamsalam, affirmed that the royal vision of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister contributed to building a comprehensive human rights system in combating trafficking in persons through the state of law and institutions. He indicated that Bahrain's achievement of the first category for the seventh year in a row in the annual report of the U.S. Department of State in the field of combating trafficking in persons, which monitors the conditions of 188 countries around the world, is an affirmation of the high international position of the kingdom and the field of preserving human rights. The speaker added that Bahrain's preservation of this advanced international status is the result of the legislative and executive and judicial system and the result of the specific procedures, initiatives, projects and programs. He said that the modern laws and the labor market in the kingdom have contributed to increasing awareness and community partnership to reduce illegal practices. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, affirmed that the royal vision of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister contributed to building a comprehensive human rights system in combating trafficking in persons through the state of law and institutions. He indicated that Bahrain's achievement in the first category of the for the seventh year in a row in the annual report of the U.S. Department of State in the field of combating trafficking in persons, which monitors the conditions of 188 countries around the world, is an affirmation of the high international position of the kingdom and the field of preserving human rights. The chairman added that Bahrain's preservation of this advanced international status is the result of the legislative, executive and judicial system and the result of the specific procedures, initiatives, projects and programs adopted by the Kingdom of Bahrain. He said that the modern laws and the labor market in the Kingdom have contributed to increasing awareness and community partnership to reduce illegal practices. The Minister of Labor and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, Jamil Hamidan, affirmed that Bahrain maintaining its Tier 1 status ranking for the seventh consecutive year in the U.S. State Department's Trafficking in Person report reflects its firm commitment to preserve human rights and protect workers through a labor environment that meets international standards. Hamidan said that this new classification consolidates Bahrain's position as a nation with a rich cultural heritage, effective laws, and successful anti-trafficking practices. This achievement stems from collaborative efforts with international organizations and diplomatic missions to raise awareness of the rights of duties of production parties. The minister commended the efforts of all government entities that are operating within an integrated institutional framework, particularly the follow-up of the Minister of Interior, to the efforts in providing protection, security and quick response to report any human trafficking in accordance with the Kingdom's laws. On the occasion of Bahrain securing Tier 1 status in the U.S. State Department's Trafficking in Persons report for the seventh consecutive year, the CEO of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority and Chairman of the National Committee to Combat Trafficking in Persons, Nabrasa Mohammed Talib, emphasized that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the wise royal vision, has achieved numerous accomplishments in protecting human rights. The CEO affirmed that this accomplishment reflects the international recognition of Bahrain's pioneering efforts to uphold human rights through an institutional framework that ensures the rights of all. He noted that this achievement is a significant addition to the Kingdom's record of accomplishments under the leadership of His Majesty the King, affirming Bahrain's commitment to supporting international efforts and combating trafficking in persons and solidifying its position as a global model for promoting human rights and combating trafficking in persons. The U.S. State Department's Trafficking in Persons report reaffirmed Bahrain's international standing in upholding human rights and combating human trafficking. Bahrain led the region in achieving this advanced ranking, reflecting its prog progressive and stable work environment that safeguards the rights of all individuals without discrimination in accordance with Bahrain's constitution, the National Action Charter, national legislation and international treaties and agreements. The report emphasizes Bahrain's success in establishing a robust culture of human rights and combating trafficking in persons through an integrated mechanism based on prevention, protection, prosecution, partnerships and labor practices. This success contributed to building a strong societal base that rejects any illegal practices in the labor market and supports the maintenance of highly stable work environment that protects the rights of all parties through an integrated mechanism involving relevant government entities. The report highlighted Bahrain's commitment to addressing illegal practices by establishing a specialized preventive monitoring directorate at the LMRA, intensifying inspection campaigns, and launching the labor registration program in partnership with the private sector. The report also commends the Kingdom's development of a number of procedures to enhance the protection of expat workers, combat forced labor, and address various forms of tra trafficking in persons.
The Kingdom of Bahrain maintained its international standing in combating trafficking in persons, achieving the first category for the seventh year in a row in the U.S. Department of State's reports on the classification of countries in the field of combating trafficking in persons, which is the highest annual international classification in this field. More on this report. For the seventh year in a row, the Kingdom of Bahrain tops the list of countries in the field of combating trafficking in persons, according to the U.S. Department of State's report on combating trafficking in persons. This international achievement comes as a result of the insightful royal vision of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister within the framework of respect for human rights, which is an essential part of Bahrain's culture and its strategy in strengthening the state of institutions and law. Bahrain made great efforts in the human rights file by establishing the institutional structure among various government agencies through an integrated system to combat trafficking in persons and preparing a solid ground in the legislative and procedural aspects that provide prevention, protection, justice and fairness for all working parties without discrimination. The Kingdom is also constantly keen to raise awareness of the crime of trafficking in persons through training courses and programs, in addition to developing a package of preventive measures that enhance the protection of expatriate workers, combat forced labor and various forms of trafficking in persons and provide administrative assistance. Bahrain continues its pioneering human rights achievements in line with its historical values and constitutional principles in preserving and promoting human rights and dignity on the foundation of respect, equality and justice. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil Asumi, praised Bahrain's success in maintaining Tier 1 status in the U.S. State Department's Trafficking in Persons report. Al Asumi emphasized that this was achieved as a result of Bahrain's comprehensive and integrated system for combating human trafficking thanks to the wise vision of His Majesty the King and his continuous directives to combat the crime of trafficking in persons based on national constants, civilizational values, humanitarian principles, and commitment to international laws. The Speaker also expressed appreciation for the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in implementing the Royal Directives through its work program to strengthen human trafficking combat system. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs extended Bahrain's sincere condolences and solidarity with Jordan over the deaths and injuries of several soldiers following an accident involving military trucks as part of a relief and humanitarian aid convoy en route to Gaza, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. The ministry expressed the sympathy and solidarity of Bahrain to Jordan, commending its efforts in supporting the Palestinians to confront their difficult humanitarian conditions. The ministry reiterated Bahrain's call for concerted international efforts to facilitate the safe delivery of crew humanitarian aid to Gaza. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhru, headed the Bahraini delegation participating in the meeting of the Bahraini-U.S. Joint Committee for the Free Trade Agreement in the presence of Assistant U.S. Trade Representative for Europe and the Middle East, Brian Trek to represent the American side and with the participation of a number of senior officials from both countries in Washington. The minister praised the depth of the historical U.S.-Bahraini relations, stressing the importance of the comprehensive joint agreement for security integration and prosperity. The minister added that the comprehensive agreement builds on the broad prospects for investment and economic cooperation for the U.S.-Bahrain FTA, which was signed 20 years ago, and still represents the cornerstone for encouraging investments and bilateral trade, and creating an appropriate climate for economic cooperation and new spaces for the trade, business and investment sectors. The Minister of Industry and Commerce met with the U.S. Trade Representative Ambassador Catherine Tai in the presence of the Assistant Undersecretary for Domestic and Foreign Trade at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, Sheikh Hamad bin Salman Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials from both sides in Washington. The Minister affirmed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to enhance trade cooperation with the U.S. in various sectors. He stressed the importance of the joint relations between the two countries, especially in the commerce field, which continues to witness joint agreements and mutual visits, in addition to various cooperation and exchange programs. He stressed the vital role of the private sector in both countries in benefiting from the advantages of bilateral agreements which reflect positively on increasing the volume of trade exchange and expanding the scope of exports and imports between the two countries. 
The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhru, participated in the roundtable discussions organized by the U.S. Arab Chamber of Commerce. The discussions highlighted ways to enhance economic cooperation between the two countries by strengthening trade and investment ties and encouraging exchange and expertise and knowledge in various fields. They also focused on important, the importance of strengthening and activating the role of the private sector in developing these relations and creating strategic partnerships between companies and institutions in the two countries. The discussions also reviewed promising investment opportunities presented by Bahrain in various sectors, including industry, technology, tourism, and logistics. Bahrain and the U.S. share distinguished historical and economic bilateral relations as the U.S. is one of the largest trading partners of the kingdom in terms of exports and imports, and the recent meetings of the Minister of Industry and Commerce affirmed the continued keenness to activate relations on a regular basis in the commerce sector. More on this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain has always taken qualitative and important steps towards strengthening its relations in various fields with world countries, especially in the economic and commercial aspects, to contribute to enhancing economic growth in the interest of the nation and the citizens. The free trade agreement with the United States is part of a series of trade and investment agreements that link Bahrain and the global community and aim to provide incentives to increase trade and business. Bahrain is considered the first Gulf country to sign a free trade agreement with the United States and the third Arab country to join a free trade agreement with the United States. This agreement is subject to specific rules of origin to achieve the desired benefits of this agreement, which aims to remove all customs and non-tariff barriers to trade and contributing to facilitating access to the U.S. market, in addition to removing investment barriers across the country and the advantage that companies in the kingdom have, including lower operating costs, a strategic location, a skilled workforce, and an advanced infrastructure at the international level with appropriate tax systems. The Kingdom of Bahrain is leading the path of development and prosperity towards enhancing cooperation and joint coordination to advance all areas that drive investment.